They say if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Well, Sam didn't die. He had nothing to lose anymore, so he took the most dangerous mission of his career. That's how he ended up in Ellsworth Penitentiary. He was treated the same as anybody else. No better, no worse. It was no midnight run, for damn sure. He didn't need much help to look like hell, not since Sarah, his daughter, was killed. You hate to see a good man fall so far. Is that all you got? Come on! Me, I hope this mission would let him pull himself back together. We needed him. Prison. A hell of a place to save a man's life. Lambert ordered you out? Just like that? My daughter was dead. And how does that take precedence over matters of national security? It doesn't. So you agree Lambert made a judgment error? I won't answer that. Fine. So the little information you did recover from Iceland told you that what was stolen from Rahim Kadir was not a weapon at all. It was red mercury, right? Yes. An explosive substance which, when added to small doses of plutonium, can easily create a two kiloton bomb the size of a baseball. And you and Lambert lost it. We had a lead, Emile Dufresne. He tried to buy the red mercury before it was stolen. So Lambert decided to infiltrate Dufresne's organization, hoping he'd take another shot at getting his hands on the red mercury. That's why he sent you in undercover on American soil, clearly exceeding the NSA's mandate. Our mandate is to protect American citizens. The CIA was dragging its feet. It was us or nobody. But to infiltrate Dufresne's organization, you needed a way in. And you found it at Ellsworth Penitentiary. Hey, Sam, you ready for this? Yeah, just give me a minute. I'll meet you out back, but you better step on it. Man, I am so psyched. I can feel it all coming together. I just can't wait to see my buddies in the JBA again. You should come along too, once we break out of here. How soon do we make our move? Don't rush the plan, Jamie. That's the quickest way things can go wrong. Yeah, I hear you. So what's the next step? Last time we grabbed the walkie-talkie. Where to this time? I'm going back to the guard booth. What's the point of having only one walkie-talkie? We each need one in case we get separated during the escape. Still got the lockpick? Yep. Good. Let me give you a boost.
Jamie, you there? I got the goods. Good, but you better fly back to your cell because they're about to do a count. If they see you missing from your bunk, we're in trouble. On my way. Better take a look around. Sam, glad you came back in time. Me too. Look out, here's the guard. Attention all inmates. Meal and leisure time. One hour. Okay, apes. It's playtime. Don't do anything too stupid. Fisher. You have a visitor. Follow me. Hello, Sam. How are you? Could be worse. And how's Jamie Washington? Fine. We've become best pals in the last three weeks. So the mission is on track. It is. He's already talking about introducing me to his friends in the JBA. Particularly the boss, Emile Dufresne. How are things on your end? Rough. Most people at Third Echelon still believe the setup and think you've gone rogue. But Assistant Director Williams isn't one of them anymore. He did some digging. Found out that we're trying to locate the Red Mercury by infiltrating Dufresne's organization. Now he's looking for an excuse to pull the plug. How did he find out? That was my fault, Sam. He managed to get his hands on the list of buyers who recovered from Iceland. Then I need to break out with Jamie. Now. Why do you think I'm here? Tonight's the night. Another Splinter Cell team is sneaking inside. They'll provide you with all the cover you need to get out. PDA on the counter has the prison's layout on it. Take it. Thanks. Anything else? Three things. I ran a check on Barnum, the man you said Washington wants dead. Whatever happens, you cannot let Barnum die. He's an important witness for the Department of Justice. Second, near the morgue you'll find a hidden disk with information on Washington from the prison's computers. It may help you later on. Final point, and I can't stress this one enough, Sam. No casualties. You're going to be on a thin moral tightrope. The JBA has to trust you, but so does the assistant director. If the JBA suspects you are a traitor, or if Williams thinks you are playing too risky, then it's over either way. Every decision you make will have consequences. It's not an easy situation for you, but I wouldn't trust the Red Mercury to anyone else. Good luck, Sam. I'll keep in touch from time to time through your cochlear implant. Sam, quick. Barnum's in the courtyard. I'll lay low till you get here, but now's our chance to get rid of him. Jamie's in trouble. Whoa! Barnum and Washington? This is gonna be good! Looks like you could use a spotter, Washington. Too bad you got me instead. Bring it on, you mother! Barnum! Stay out of this! 
Not a chance. Get off him. Now. Nah. Wait your turn, Fisher. There's enough beatings to go around. I always cut in line. All three of you, go to the wall and put, put your hands, hands against, against it now! You just made a big mistake! They're gonna have to hose you off the concrete when I get through with you! Well, now that I've got him, what do I do with him? Jamie hates this guy. If I kill him, I'm Jamie's best buddy for life, which is good for the mission. But Lambert doesn't want casualties. He's got Williams breathing down his neck. One or the other. Gotta decide. Are you okay? <coughs> Never mind me. <coughs> Finish him off. <coughs> Knockout gas. I think you killed him, buddy. <coughs> Knockout gas. <coughs> Knockout gas. <coughs> 